Chapter 56 As the nurse re-entered the room, a sense of relief washed over Adelmo and his companions. With a warm smile, she reassured them that everything appeared to be back to normal. Adelmo, eager to resume his daily routine, was given a choice by the nurse to either stay another night or head home. Adelmo, considering his pending tasks, expressed his gratitude and politely requested to be discharged. He explained to the nurse that he had important matters to attend to and would greatly appreciate being allowed to leave. Understanding his urgency, the nurse nodded understandingly and agreed to his request. However, before bidding him farewell, she kindly offered to change the bandage on his arm, ensuring his comfort and well-being. Adelmo, grateful for the nurse's assistance, accepted her offer with a nod of appreciation. Meanwhile, he informed his friends Nick and Lana, that they were free to leave if they wished. Adelmo explained that he had some pressing matters to attend to once he was out of the hospital, emphasizing the importance of his impending tasks. Understanding his need for independence, Lana wished him well and urged him to take care of himself. With a sense of determination, Adelmo prepared to embark on his journey outside the hospital walls, eager to tackle the challenges that awaited him. Exiting through the door, she made her way to the local bookstore. Nick's voice broke the silence. Absolutely not. I'm curious to see the extent of the damage on your arm. I've been wanting to take a look at this bad boy, Adelmo chuckled in response. Agreeing, he nodded and allowed Nick to inspect the wound. The nurse swiftly gathered the necessary supplies and returned promptly to change the bandage. As the nurse carefully removed the old bandage from Adelmo's arm, Nick couldn't help but stare at the injury. His thoughts raced, realizing the severity of the bite marks and how deeply they had penetrated his skin. Adelmo, on the other hand, contemplated the significance of his newfound abilities and how he could utilize them to prevent further harm. The nurse efficiently cleaned the wound, rebandaged it, and disconnected all the medical equipment, signaling that Adelmo was ready to leave but needed to complete the checkout process. With the wound tended to and the bandage securely in place, Adelmo felt a sense of relief. Nick, still processing the sight of the bite marks, couldn't shake off the image of the teeth sinking into Adelmo's skin. As they prepared to leave, Adelmo reflected on the importance of embracing his unique capabilities and using them responsibly. The nurse assured him that he was good to go, but emphasized the need for a final check before departure. Nick advised Adelmo, to be cautious while exploring the town, emphasizing his concern for Adelmo's safety as his best friend and also for Lana's sake. Adelmo acknowledged Nick's advice, recognizing the inherent risks in their line of work. Nick agreed with Adelmo's observation, acknowledging the unpredictable nature of their job. Before parting ways, Adelmo inquired about any new developments during his absence, to which Nick informed him that nothing significant had occurred but he wanted to discuss the insights Adelmo had shared earlier. Adelmo expressed understanding, noting that Nick's demeanor did not convey any sense of urgency. Nick concurred, indicating that he needed to return to work. Adelmo bid Nick farewell, expressing gratitude for the conversation. As Nick left, Adelmo prepared to depart as well, ensuring he was ready to investigate further. Despite the lack of immediate urgency, Adelmo remained vigilant, aware of the potential dangers that could arise in their line of work. With Nick's advice in mind, Adelmo proceeded cautiously, mindful of the need to prioritize safety. As Adelmo ventured out to gather information, he kept Nick's words in mind, understanding the importance of playing it safe. The bond between Nick and Adelmo was evident in their exchange, with both friends looking out for each other's well-being. Adelmo's commitment to his task was unwavering, Yet he remained cautious, knowing that unforeseen challenges could arise. With Nick's reminder echoing in his thoughts, Adelmo navigated the town with a blend of vigilance and determination, ensuring that he fulfilled his responsibilities while safeguarding his own safety. Adelmo ventured towards the mysterious cave, the very same one that he had been led to by the werewolf several days ago. The urgency to explore this hidden place in broad daylight had consumed him, as he had never even suspected the existence of such a cave. With determination in his heart, 
he finally arrived at his destination. However, a sense of bewilderment still lingered within him, clouding his thoughts. Gasping for air, Adelmo had to ascend the steep hillside in order to reach the entrance of the cave. His legs burned with exhaustion, and beads of sweat trickled down his forehead. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, he stood before the cave's entrance. Leaning against the rough surface of the cave wall, he desperately tried to catch his breath. Little did he know that this simple act would lead him into an unexpected trance-like state. As Adelmo's racing heart gradually calmed, he absent-mindedly brushed his hand against the cold, rocky wall of the cave. Suddenly, an inexplicable force overcame him, causing him to fall into a trance. His eyes widened in disbelief as he witnessed a sight that sent shivers down his spine. The cave was teeming with werewolves, their presence undeniable. It was evident that they were gathered there for a purpose, their intentions ominous and foreboding. Adelmo strained to get closer, desperate to discern their plans. To his horror, he realized that they were plotting an attack against him. Their intense communication and the image of his own face being displayed left him paralyzed with fear. The sheer number of werewolves overwhelmed him, as he had never fathomed the existence of such a vast population in New Orleans. Abruptly, Adelmo snapped out of his trance, his eyes wide with terror. The realization of the imminent danger he faced struck him like a bolt of lightning. Fear coursed through his veins, urging him to take action. He was at a loss, unsure of how to defend himself against the multitude of werewolves that now posed a threat to his very existence. The revelation that New Orleans harbored such a significant number of these supernatural creatures left him dumbfounded. Adelmo knew that he had to gather his wits and devise a plan if he wanted to survive the impending attack. 